Escape Arm Hands, Fine Marie for how's everybody doing? So I'm just gonna do a recap on uh, the Aquascape here that we did on the 700. So you guys did see my time last video. I was building it, putting it all together, doing all the Aquascape. But I ended up, I, I didn't really uh, like it after I got out and checked it out. Sat back, looked at it for a while. Aquascaping can be an art. So I wasn't pleased with it, like many other uh, hobbyists are not always pleased with their aquascape. So I waited a few days, sat back, looked at it, sat on the couch. What could I do differently? So I went and I got another 150 pounds of uh, Marcos Rock. And what I ended up doing is I ended up adding another 150 pounds. I connected the islands together. I took some uh, pieces off and I uh, made some, um, some flat pieces, some arches out. It's a lot of great places to put corals and stuff. Just give it more pleasing to the eye because I didn't like the middle one. It looked too much more like a pyramid. So sometimes you gotta change things. So I just want to take you guys for a little tour, show you everything that I changed. I think it looks a lot better. And um, the reasons why I went with these uh, three island effect, because there's a reason for everything. And um, so with this tank here, I'm planning on doing uh, SPS dominated with clams. That's my plan. I'm not gonna do too many soft corals at all. Maybe a few on the bottom, but nothing much. I wanna to try to do all uh, SPS, acros, all those kind of corals. That's the plan. And uh, lots of clams. I like to get a few nice big large clams in there. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I went with this aquascape. So with these three islands, gives uh, lots of uh, water flow around through the rock, underneath the rock. Um, there's no glass uh, touching the back the sides so there's no pressure everything's built in the middle so the fish can swim all the way around each island and then I have each uh, going out to each islands attached now so there's places to put corals so the reason why there's three so you guys can see I have I finally mounted up uh, my uh, Hydra 52 HDs these lights are pretty sweet lots of power so if you look I have one over perfectly over each island so it can really light up those corals plus and then the other two go right in the middle of these arches and then that can get the corals all the way around both sides of the islands, so it's equal. So that's one reason why it went that way. So everything, there's not really any dull spots in this tank at all, everything's perfectly lit up. And so another thing is very important is you want lots of water flow. So when you're doing SPS corals, they love to have that, that uh, lots of flow movement in there. And that's one reason why I went with this design. So water flow all the way around. And then I have four circulating pumps, so I'm gonna show you. We have some unboxing to do. I got lots of uh, new gear that we gotta put in this tank. So I got four pumps. I'm gonna put a pump on each end. And then what's great is I'm gonna put a pump on uh, both sides of the inside of the island here. So we're gonna have flow on the ends and flow in the middle and out through the front. And then when I have my returns coming in, I'm gonna have about six return heads and that way everything's gonna mix together. So we're gonna have all that different flow rushing water in there and the corals are gonna love it. And by having all these open crevices, you're gonna have less uh, detritus in there. And when I'm eating food, anything won't have any place to hide. Everything's gonna get, uh, you know, the water moon's gonna wash that right out over the overflow box and the skimmer and everybody's happy. And the tank will stay a lot cleaner that way. Um, so with all the, the, the flat pieces sticking out of the arches, this way I can uh, really glue, glue on a lot of uh, SPS coral, frags, all kinds of stuff. And it'll look really pleasing after they all start branching out. And we get a lot of different like antheas, really colorful fish in there, lots of schooling fish. It'll look amazing going through all the branches of all the corals. So that's one of the reasons why I went with the, all this design. So I end up, I got 750 pounds of uh, Marco's Rock in here now. And because the 700 gallon tank and I got a 100 gallon sump and another 50 gallon sump. So we're doing, I'm trying to do, you know, like a pound of live rock per gallon. So we're gonna have a lot of uh, beneficial bacteria growing on that rock that's gonna help naturally filter our water as well. And that's one of the biggest points. If you can have as much of uh, live rock in your tank, it's awesome. And then we're gonna get some nice uh, thick sand bed in here. I wanna at least go four inches. So I'm looking at about 31 bags of uh, sand. I'm not sure which one I go with. Uh, I might go with Pink Fiji, Crushed Coral. Not sure what I want to do. The, the sand is real fine, the Pink Fiji. So it blows around a lot. Not too really too crazy about that, but I really do like the, the look of it as well. And by just having that thick uh, sand bed, you got a lot of beneficial bacteria in there as well. And all different kinds of uh, gobies, uh, wrasses that like to go in their burrow there in that night. And I want to try to get some uh, garden eels and they need a really deep sand bed. So that's why I'm going really deep. And then in another section, I might just pile up some rocks and make that extra deep just for them because they get pretty long and they're a pretty cool addition to have to the tank as well. 
So that's some of the reasons. So I'll take you for a little tour. I end up switching it up. It looks a lot better, pleasing the eye. And I'm happy with it. Everything's fastened into place of the eMarcos 400. And you can't beat that. So this is what we got. And I can't wait to show you the 52s all lit. It looks amazing. And I'm just gonna get the sand in there, finish off the plumbing, and then we're gonna get this uh, tank all wet. So I'll take you for a tour and check her out. So let's start with the first island. So I end up building it up a lot more, uh, a little higher. We got some shelving here now. The, we got some really nice deep caves. And then I put the branching piece through here for the island to attach it. So a lot of great places to stick a bunch of corals. And then we got a bunch of flat pieces, got some shelving, this looks awesome. I added some shelving on this one. And we got a nice cave here as well. You guys do a side angle, see all the, all the shelves. It looks pretty sweet. Took some off this pyramid looking one. Didn't like that at all. Had some more flat pieces along it, down through the back. So you guys can see, in this void here, this is where we're gonna end up uh, putting a nice uh, circulating pump in the back of this one. On the left side, we're gonna have another circulating pump. So let's move across. So here is the next bridge you wanna call it. It's got a nice area for fish to swim through and hide. It makes it really well. And you guys can see, so there's lots of areas for flow. Like, look under there, there's so much area for uh, fish and stuff to hide, it's awesome. And then same here as well, we can add another circulating pump, so this will cause a swirling effect through the front, through the back, all the way, so we don't have any detritus or anything hiding up there. And then we're gonna put our other return pump here on the right, and then along the top. So this one here, we got a great big cave, there's lots and lots of room under there, so lots of big fish, everybody can hide comfortably. So that's what I did, so on the top here, I'm gonna have a pipe and up. I'm gonna have like two power, um, I'm gonna have two return lines here. I'm gonna have two return lines in the middle and I'm gonna have two more turn li return lines on the other end. So we're gonna have lots of uh, direction flow and I'm gonna end up putting the, the knuckle uh, lock line on there so that I can really uh, direct the flow where I want it. So hopefully you won't have any dead spots in here. You wanna make sure you have lots and lots of flow for all these corals. So I'm pretty happy with it guys. It turned out a lot better. Took a little bit more time. And then the 52s are looking good. I got them, I got them all powered up. You guys can see I got the, got the wires all done up nicely. I love these rail systems on these, the 52s, it's pretty awesome. Turned out really nice. You should see these puppies, I'm gonna get them cranked. A lot of great places to attach coral and I can't wait to uh, show you guys next videos coming up. So. Can't wait to light up these, uh, the 52 HDs and show you those. It's going to look great. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and hit the like button.